And we're back. Let's continue here. Uh, one might imagine there'll be a door there. No, I'm just trying to get some kind of structure in place that can be... And I'll try to prettify it, you know, the best that I can. Um, especially once I have a little bit more, like... Not quite so frantic, trying to just get things just safe. Um, so we'll just... It'll be a very depressing house for a bit. Yeah, it'll be quite depressing. But we will be able to fix that soon. I don't know why I'm doing that. Don't ask me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We'll have some stairs running down. Uh, and uh, next thing to do will be to torch up this whole island as really, really well. And let's also, yeah, starting here. also want to make this visible from a distance if we can. Just in case we get kind of lost. Okay, and we're not staying here tonight. We're just getting this ready for basically the next night probably. Okay. So that's pretty well lit up. Just I don't know, makes absolutely no absolutely sure that any mobs are gonna have to they're gonna have to swim to get here. Um, that should be a must. Must 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 situation. And it even so much more the better if we make these sides nice and steep, which we can eventually terraform a little bit and make this more kinda castle ish. You know, like make it more square. Uh, but I think we're safe to hang out here at this point for the night. So I'll just, uh, start kind of trying to square this stuff off. chicken. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking that if we can kind of make this stepped kind of deal. This is probably a waste of cobble. should really go smelt my iron. What we're doing. We're okay. There is a mob.
<laughs> that keeps looking like gravel to me, so I keep taking out my shovel. See how that looks from a little ways away once. Well, no, we're not going over that way. <laughs> no, thank you. We're not ready for a fight yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little frantic right now. I'm not sure why. Um, everything is going okay. Let's uh, try to make sure that no one can get in here. And I think we'll head back over this way for right now. farm is doing. Carve out a little bit more area for ourselves to work with. In terms of keeping the mobs away. Oh, nope, run away. Run away! Thank you. And... Alrighty, let's get rid of some of this junk. We got some eggs to work with, which is good. Uh, we have enough for one loaf of bread, which we'll start stockpiling some bread. Yeah, we can take that and we'll... Okay, now probably want to actually take care of that. And let's see what else can we do. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of cobblestone. That's a start. Okay. Well, that's going. Oh, we don't have any more torches, so exploring is not going to go so well. Quite carefully, eek our way this way. But not ecat our way this way because that would be a bad way to go about things. As the Polycraft crew is well aware. All too aware, I would say. Um, I know I saw at least a little bit of iron this way. Hmm. Well, this was sort of a dead end. Which is not really awesome. Not awesome. <laughs> so maybe we should go back to our original sort of path here. I'll block that 
up again, and then where's R? This is where we're descending. So we'll go all the way down to, let's see, what is our... We're at 14? Well, I guess we can't go down much further then. There's really not much point, unless we want to strip mine, which is, again, the kind of thing that I would not normally really do. Anyway, we got some redstone. No, oh, wait, we need an iron pick for that anyway. be awesome to just stumble upon a diamond or two. I, uh, I can tolerate a little iron, though. Bedrock. Not useful. Uh, let's just do a workaround on this until we go pick up our iron from our little home base. Let's just. There's no connecting ways out here or anything like that. there about how you turn around there, Andrew. Jesus. Mm. I can't remember exactly how many pieces of iron we had. I think it was about nine or so. We'll have to see here. Eleven. That's even better. So let's take that. Make some sticks. Let's do an iron sword first. For the, the protection. Do a iron pick. For the hitting of the things. And what else can we do? Can't do one of these yet. Nah. Oh, we might want to do an iron door, <laughs> actually. It is a legitimate use of iron, in my opinion. And, like, some people might disagree. Early in a game, why, you know, why would you want to bother wasting your iron on an iron door? But I'm going to show you why. That makes three doors? Well, that's wasteful. <laughs> Did it used to be that? I don't think it used to be... Th and the doors didn't use to stack either. Alright. Whatever. Is it still night? Nah, it's day. Oop, nothing there. No creepers creeping. Which is good. Very good. Okay. Let's continue. I think what we want to do is just get rid of some of this... doesn't have to be quite perfectly round, but I would actually prefer it if it was. Oh. Gonna be a little bit obsessively neat about these things, because it's my world, my wor my rules. If you guys don't like it, well, you can file a complaint with the complaint department and uh, be assured that they will not listen. Okay. Thank you. Let me in. Mm, let's be here. Okay. Actually, we really wanted a button. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done a button. Because, technically, a mob could step on that, but for right now, that's okay. Now then. Let's go back and get our stuff. 
start bringing stuff over this direction. A little migration over to this fortified area. Just do this for right now, just so we remember where that area was. Set up shop here. Dirt, gravel, diorite. Okay. So one of the things that we're gonna do with these guys, just to make something that resembles a window but isn't actually a window. to make it a little bit more interesting to look at from the outside. Um, and then we're gonna need at least a little bit of stair. Stairs. -a. Let's take that many. Okay. And do this. We didn't need that one, really. <laughs> Get chicken out of my way. Okay, <laughs> now one another thing I like to do is this. Jeez, I, just, I feel like the controls are a lot, like, jumpier than they used to be. There's a touchscreen mode? Man, they've done so much stuff since the last time I played, uh, Minecraft. Man. It's only been a few months, but time flies. Okay, let's do some more stair... stairs. This is just a little bit of a kind of a buffer buffer block. So any mobs that come up around darn it, still not enough. Alright, well we gotta kinda thin out this area over here, so Very interesting. Uh, no, I don't know. Definitely want to make this into like an island, totally cut off from this other land here. It's gonna protect us from mobs. So yeah, my sort of outlook on hardcore mode is. Play really conservatively, um, beyond just the usual try not to die, try to really like kind of plan ahead for like what long term survival will necessitate, um, but right now I'm not really doing such a great job of that because I really should be like, I should be like working on getting these chickens going and stuff like that, but 
I need to kind of like reach critical mass with the farm, but I'm sort of neglecting that task for setting up a sort of safe house kind of kind of thing. So that's kind of two competing tasks I think in the early game when you're trying to do hardcore is trying to secure a food source and trying to secure a safe place to be a safe place to keep your stuff for you know kind of home base of operations I think those are two kind of competing interests that, sh that need to be balanced mm, I realized I never actually set my timer after that last video so eh, I think we have a little bit longer to go as And we have rain. Just never fun. Now, once we get things really established here, we'll obviously like make some kind of bridge network to get from our little island here onto the surrounding territory. Alright. Yeah, let's just continue doing cleanup here. Well, obviously we want to be leaving room to for expanding later is something I want to think about too. So I shouldn't go too overboard with the sort of culling of blocks here. Okay. But I do like having a nice sort of clean uh, path to the base don't like blocks like that in the way. So yeah, one entrance, really everything around it is sort of, the AI is going to have to really work for it in terms of getting to me. Um, so okay, now that we have more, we can finish off our little border area here. a little extra. I'm going to turn down my mouse sensitivity a little bit more here. Turn it down on my mouse and then turn it up here. Back to 100. See if that feels right to me. Okay. I think that's it's still a little bit on the frantic side for my taste. Okay, so let's see, let's put some of our extra things away, like all our weird new blocks which have no purpose, sure. and what we need to do now is go collect more wood. Yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to go collect more wood. Um, do we really want to do that at night, though? Probably not. See, our tree never, trees never grew, so we must have not put those trees in good tree-growing places. So let's take those. Oh, that one did. Which is good. Now, 
yeah, we need a lot of wood because what I want to do is I want to set up a chicken farm here. Probably right around this area. Ooh, hello, goodbye, bye bye. Not playing with any creepers today. Not in the mood. Yeah, so we're going to save our seeds. And, uh, um, maybe kind of wait for daylight a little bit. Um, without having to be too much of a wimp about it. Um, yeah, anyway. So this is nice and cozy in here. Um, let's see, what can I do with six more iron? Can I do one, two... Can I do leggings, at least? No. Can I do helmet? Yes. <laughs> it seems so pointless just to do a helmet. But I guess that's better than no protection at all, and mm, I probably could have used that on another pick, but that's okay. I have a hat. Hats are nice. Yeah. It's just really overdo it on the, on the torches in this area. Really trying to keep ourselves really safe. And... I think things are going pretty pretty decently for me, but I do think I need to start thinking about actually killing some things. Um. <laughs> Being distracted a little bit by my significant other here. Um. But yeah, yeah, it's about time for us to start uh, as the achievement says, the time to strike. That way we can start getting some of those good materials together. Uh, such as arrows. Um, you know, maybe getting some rare drops would be really handy, like... Uh, a bow. <laughs> some string. Anything like that. A potato. That would be just... Yeah, right now a potato would just be killer. Literally would be like the best thing possible for us right now. Um, but that's probably not going to be in the cars, but I think I can probably get away with killing this guy. Come on. Gotcha. Coming for you. Two hits. Man, that guy really went fast. Alright, we got a bone, which is great, because now we can do a little bit of this action. Bone meal action. start trying to get critical mass together um, on our farm here. Okay, you can come over here. It's, it's going to be okay. 
You, you can come in here, and I will probably try to kill you. But we will deal with that in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching. See you guys then.